What's up guys, Rebel Tempest here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a blowgun on a budget. Let's check it out. Alright you guys, so starting off, I got all this from the hardware store, my local hardware store. You're going to need some electrical tape, camouflage tape, or just any type of duct tape of your choice. And some of these marking flags. I picked this up for $2.99 from my hardware store. Uh, for me, I'm going to do a laser, the, a laser because I'm gonna make mine laser assisted. The only reason why this has tape on the back is because the back would not stay on. You're going to need a half inch PV, PVC pipe or CPVC pipe. I have a three quarters inch to half inch female adapter and one of these pool noodles or something similar. So let's get this started. All right guys and real quick, these are kind of what your final darts are going to look like. That's why I have the marking flags because we're gonna cut the wires off of them to make the guard, the darts. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is kind of clear off our workspace, and essentially you're just gonna put this onto here and kind of give it a little tap. Okay, guys. So I don't have a hammer on me right now, so I'm just gonna use this crowbar. So you're just gonna take the thinner side of it, like so, and you're just gonna put it on top of here. It should squeeze on there pretty perfectly. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to give it a nice tap to make sure it stays on there. Alright, so now that it's on there, you have the essential of your blowgun ready. Okay, so now that you got that done, you're just going to take your tape, so whatever color you want the whole blowgun to be, and you're just going to peel a piece off of it, right? And you're going to make the piece just as long as the gun. So, so from the tip, to where the mouthpiece meets up. All the way over to there. And then you're just gonna take some scissors, cut that tape. Now what you're gonna do is, I know, I'm sorry, it's kinda hard to see here, but you're just gonna place, you're just gonna take the tape, right? You're gonna lay it as flat as possible. Take your blow gun, you're gonna line up the tip of it. You're just gonna place it in the middle as evenly as possible. And you're just gonna roll it, rock it side to side, like this. So you can see the tape is kind of getting up on the blow gun, and by there, you can kind of guide it around your blow gun itself. Evenly and slowly place, stick the tape firmly to the tube. It doesn't really matter if there's any creases in it, it does not need to be perfect. As you're going to see, that you do have a little line that is uncovered with the tape. So in order to fix that, you're essentially just going to do the same step. Take your tape, put it to the side. Make sure that the tape is of course laying flat and as straight as you can. But then this time, you're going to take the part that's not covered. And this time, you're going to lay that part of it flat. While I'm doing this, I'm just going to say that the hardest part of making this blowgun is probably going to be the arrows. But that, once you get the hang of it, you'll be good to go. So, with this, I'm just going to take a little piece because I didn't get the tip of it. So I'll just take a little piece of it and just make sure to get a little bit more to the end. You don't need it to be perfect because that's what we're going to be using black electrical tape for. It's just to clean it up. Okay, so now that I got that done, as you can see, there's a little bit of space left on the end. So now, that's what you get your black electrical tape for. And you're just essentially just going to wrap it around just the same way that you did with your main camo tape. So you are going to put it to the edge of your thing here and just tape it up. Roll it. Make sure it is rolled kind of tightly. Now, you guys, from my hardware store, I got four feet of this half-inch C PVC pipe, as you can tell. It's 59 inch, uh, sorry, 59 centimeters per foot. So overall, this came out to be about two feet, or that, two dollars, two dollars fifty cents, right? And this tap, this top part that I got, you know, like I said, probably about sixty cents. The most expensive things out of this is the wires and the tape. This, the electrical tape I already had at home, so that's, you know, that's that was a plus for that. So anyways, now we're working our way up the top of it. So now that you got the neck of it done, you're going to take a little bit of tape and you're going to start to wrap it around the actual mouthpiece of it. So 
I'm just going to wrap it around as straightly as I can. A lot of this is just the tape. If you didn't want to customize it, you could honestly just leave these parts the way that they are and skip ahead in the video to the part where I'm making the arrows. Because honestly, the arrows is the part that matters the most. So now I'm going to take a little bit longer of a piece of tape. And I'm going to start where I ended the last that last piece and work my way up. And ta-da! Okay, so now that you got the top part of your bow gun done, you're going to do the same thing to the bottom of it. This is just to make it look clean and so you cannot tell where the seams of one tape end and the other tape begins. Alright guys, so I found my tripod, got it. So now that we have finished the tip and this tip, essentially now you're going to be doing the arrows. So the first thing you're going to do, you're just going to take these flags, open them up. So let me get out that hefty knife that we unboxed yesterday in this video. We're just going to pop them open. You don't need the flag part of it. All we're going to need are the wires. So you can go ahead and spread them out, rubber bands at the bottom of course. So you're going to have 10 of them in this package. Now you are going to need some kind of a wire cutter. You're gonna essentially be cutting these in half. So I'll get right back to you when I get my wire cutters. You guys, so I couldn't find my wire cutter, so I'm just gonna put it between the clamps, clamp it shut, and saw it off. Now, the saws that I have, they're kind of old and don't work that well, so give me something. Um, basically, I just tried to piece out, and I sawed it a little bit about halfway, and then I just broke it off. Um, so that worked for me, so I'm just gonna do that. Now that you can see, that is about partly sawed off. I just break it off. Here's the other piece that I'm holding in my hand. And then how I got this out is I just loosened it and catch. I failed at the catch part. So now let's go to making the arrows. All right, you guys. So now that we have our pieces of wire cut, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take tape of your choice, right? So for me, I'm going to be using this tape. I'm going to grab my scissors real quick. What you're going to do is you're going to cut off a piece of tape, you know, a couple inches long. So I'm doing mine about that wide. And you're just going to cut it off, right? Okay, so now that you got to cut it off, you're going to take your piece of wire like this, and you're going to take this, you know, put it, and you're just going to wrap it in a cone shape. Make sure that the cone is tight around the base of it, like that. And you're just gonna cone it all the way up. Make sure it does kind of keep its shape, because the shape is key, aerodynamics, aero, you know? So, you know, I made it this wide, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut the trim off. You're just gonna trim it down, right? And then this is the kind of difficult part. You're gonna need to trim it it's kind of hard to explain. You're gonna need to trim it so that way it can fit perfectly all the way through here, but not to where it doesn't, like you need it to fit perfectly. So that way it can freely move, but it doesn't move so easily that it'll slide out. Okay, now you guys might say, oh, well what's wrong with this? It's perfect, right? Nope, this is the time where that fine, very fine trimming comes in handy comes into where I was talking to where just the ever so slightest makes such a big difference in this that's perfect so now we're gonna test it okay you guys so now I'm just gonna be slightly behind the camera with this to load it you're just gonna take this I'm just gonna pop it in there and push it down a little bit ignore the phone in the background so now I'm gonna aim right between the picture and those things As you can see, it did stick. Let's check out the damage. So you can see this is wall, and sometimes, like probably now, you need pliers to get them out because I cannot get them out by hand right now. Oops, I just did. So now, let's add on the laser. All right, you guys, now, as we were waiting for the hot glue gun to heat up, I do want to say that these are not to be messed with now, or mess with them, actually, because this, I just shot into the wall of my workstation it's hard to get out it went about that about that deep and when I shot it easily goes in easy 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 
So now real quick, as I am waiting for it to heat up, I'm going to show you how I'm going to place my laser sight. Okay, so how I'm going to place it is when I'm getting ready to blow it, I put my mouth up to here, right? And I'm just going to put my fingers roughly about where I can reach, right? So which is about here. So I'm going to keep my fingers there. I'm going to put the laser gun right about there and maybe put the button for the laser back a little bit. Now it is important that you have it as straight as possible or else you're not going to get a straight line or a straight guidance. You know what I mean? So mine was about right here and I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to remeasure it when I do get the hot laser. Now see guys, this is very bad of me. I forgot to put this away. So make sure to put that away. Clip it. And um, yeah, then we're almost going to be done with the gun. Now you guys may be asking what I got this big noodle thing for. Now this big noodle thing, essentially, I'm going to cut off a piece about this big. And you're going to put it around your tube. And each of these arrows that you make, you'll easily be able to slide it in there and store ammo. So you can store a ton of them up and around here. Depending on how many you make, you can make different kinds. Now you guys, I'm gonna show you this something real quick. You can make different kinds of these. You can saw the ends off of these screws and do it the same way, but backwards. And they can be glass breakers. So these are definitely nothing to mess with. Now, no matter how strong you make them, like upstairs, I just have cones filled with hot glue. That hurts, that really hurts. I shot myself in the foot with it, like, how, how hard is this? Pah! That hurt, believe me. So just anything, just be careful, be careful, be careful, please. And if anybody gets hurt, I'm not to blame for it. This is for experiment and entertainment only. So yeah, I think my hot glue is heated up and let's get to this. Okay, you guys. So here we go. We're getting ready to add on the laser guide. So I'm just going to set this laser down to the side. I'll put it up like I'm gonna blow it, ready? So my finger can reach right about here. And I'm going to place this so that the button can lay flat. So now the whole thing lays flat right here. I unplugged the hot glue gun because it's hot enough, it can still be here with it being hot. And now I'm just firmly pressing and holding onto it for about 30 seconds. You take it and you can just kind of glue it right at the crease of it. On both sides. Now, I'm just going to hold this here and just wait for it to dry. Okay, you guys, I'm about 15 feet away from the target. Let's get the laser on. And... Now keep in mind, there is a little bit of downfall, meaning to where it arcs a little bit. You can't see it on sight. Okay, you guys, now, I'm from the same distance, but the laser is going to be on the bottom. The reason why it didn't hit on the laser target is because with this being so long that it does slant a little bit. So now this is upside down and the laser is on the bottom of it, so it should be slightly more accurate. That was my fault, I was moving, but it did hit pretty well on target. So now we can put that to the side. Now we're going to work on the storage. So this, I'm just going to take it from the top end of it. I'm just going to cut a piece out here. Okay, so that went all the way through easily. Now if you do want it to match the tape and everything, by all means add tape. That's what I'm going to do. So just essentially just going to put it on the tip of it. Just slide it down. And I'm stupid because we should have done this beforehand. Nailed it. 
Okay, so now that I got the laser off, I'm going to put one hmm, probably right about here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the workshop and add some hot glue and make sure that it stays. So now that I got this all hot glued, I'm just going to add the laser sight back. But with this, you can add your ammo in right there as you please. As you can see, your ammo is now stored there. I don't have many made up. But and then to just pull it, you just pull it off, stick it in here, and shoot. <laughs> Remember guys, these are not to be shot at anybody, anything, other than just a simple other than just a simple target. Remember, this has been Rebel Tempest. Comment, like the video, subscribe, make sure to turn on them post notifications. Tell me what else you want to see from me. I'm going to be doing some basketball videos next. Shout out to Nathan, <clears throat> Santi, <clears throat> and uh, my horrible skills. And, um, you know, like I said, turn on them notifications. I'll see you guys later. Peace.